to Leo Maddox Show. Alright guys, and today you can see all these cars that we had to put the extension on the table and Leo, why is the table extension out and why are all these cars here? To do, to do a collection for Leo early. So what are we doing? What do we got here? Well, what's the collection? You know um, how some of the cars from Hot Wheels, they just make random, they actually make cars that aren't real. Mm-hmm. And, they just, and it's their own car design. Right. So guys, Leo was, was thinking, we did, we've done a Dodge collection, we've done a Chevy collection, we've done a Ford collection. Guys, you can check all those out in the Hot Wheels playlist. And he was wondering, guys, our collection, guys, you probably have seen in a couple of the other videos down the lines here and there. They're about two gigantic bins strong, guys. So they're probably maybe 700 plus cars. And he was wondering exactly how many of those cars were actual production automobiles and how many of them were licensed from one of the automakers. And also, guys, he was wondering how many of them are just strictly the ones from Team Hot Wheels. And so, guys, we went through, and this is right around a third of the collection, guys. So if you're wondering how many is here, are you wondering how many is here? If you guys are wondering how many is here, leave your best guess, guys, in the comment section below. And by the end of this video, we will tell you exactly what the car count is for this video of vehicles, guys, that are strictly from Team Hot Wheels, guys, uh, from Mattel. They're basically just Mattel creations. And guys, one of them in our Monster Truck videos, guys, we have mentioned before, and that one Leo's got over by him, and that is the Bone Shaker, and they modified the Bone Shaker to be a Bone Speeder as well by, it looks like literally just cutting the roof off. So I'm gonna let Leo take it over from here, guys, and talk to you about some of these cars. And just, guys, uh, explain to you about some of these random cars that he's finding, that, that have a story behind them, that are special to him, and all that kind of stuff, guys. And then I'll probably jump in at the end with a little bit of commentary, guys, and we'll just, We'll just kind of see how this goes. First category. The ones that I got first. Like, one of the first ones was this guy right here. These the rocket fires. Got a whole bunch of different names for them, so. Oh, let's do the, let's do the first ones first. This one. I have when I was like three or four years old, or like two or something. Yeah, that was one of the very first Hot Wheels guys we ever got. We go chipped off paint. The second, I call this one the sheet metal rocket fire. Probably like one of the, this is like the second one I've got. You can tell by the roof marks. Don't know if you can see that or not, but. Third one I got. This thing, it's in good shape. For any rocket fire we have. Finally, the newest one to our collection. It's the Scold Rocket Fire. Those were, that was the Rocket Fires. You can see them in order over here. Now guys, we also have this, which is a rocket car. You can see this is basically just one rocket for each wheel. Which would be, so one of the things with Hot Wheels, you can tell a lot of these are Hot Wheels own inventions because you can see there's nowhere for a driver even to go in this. Like you literally could not put a driver in this. 
Yeah, but it's sealed. There's no. So like if you the cars that they have for drivers, like this one, for instance, this one, guys, you can see has a steering wheel and has seats and stuff like that. This one can have a driver. Th this one, there's no way. You'd have to. I don't know, maybe remote control it or something. But I think it would. It would just explode. <laughs> see the rock <laughs> tires to take it out. over here. Do 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 next selection. The animal cars. So one of the cool things that Hot Wheel does, guys, is they do theme packs a lot. So you guys have seen us, we've unboxed some of the theme packs before where we have, you know, the, the pack of the boxes of five or whatever. So with the theme packs, sometimes they'll have animal prints and they'll be thematically, will, will look like that. They'll have just different, um, different creatures painted on them, guys, and I'll show you one of those. Uh, if I can locate it, guys, sorry, it's going to take me just a second here to find it. The animal cars that actually, the cars that are animals. Yeah, and then they do some that are just actual, literal animal creations, rather than paint jobs. And I, uh, I'll, if I find it, guys, I'll just jump in here with it, but, uh, but go ahead, Leo. Go crazy. Oh, yeah, we have a lot of animal cars. So... First one, the first one we got. I don't even know which one was the first one. Uh, you know, I don't remember either. It probably came from, uh, it probably came from one of those packs. So, uh, because when we were first building our collection, guys, Leo was really fond of the five packs. So he would petition us to get those all the time, guys. And so we got quite a few of those. So, first thing we got here. It's this dragon car thing. This was from a one pack. It's a dragon. It's a dragon thing. Now there's two dragons, however. This there's this dragon right here. It even has a, like a turning head here. That's the first dragon. Got a second dragon here. This thing is crazy. This dragon thing is crazy. Really crazy. It's like one of those Japan dragons. You so even see a little a golden rider. Yeah, it's a guy that's actually... You, guys you actually can see it, guys. It's got a guy that's actually uh, driving it. Which is the cool part. But this is like a really crazy car. So here, guys, is what I meant by the animal prints. They've just painted these, these sort of things on it to kind of give the impression that um, it, it's an animal paint job basically guys so there's a lot of stuff like that there's this one also which is sort of this wolf, wolf car sort of thing yeah. I think Leo is gonna do that one sorry buddy you can do that one too you'll probably do it better than me anyway we have the second dragon car this thing is actually have like a dragon theme to it mm -hmm. it's like some sort of scorpion tail look at the wing look at the wings on this thing that really cool head. Yeah, that's pretty wild. This thing. Okay. I don't really know if we have any more dragons left to do. We also have this, guys, which is called a track cat. And you can see that it sort of has the sort of, uh, sort of the cat. No, that's a rally cat. Yeah, rally cat. Yeah, track cat. Rally, sorry, rally cat. So that was right. So it kind of has the impression of an animal to it. So. Hot Wheels likes to use animals a lot in their vehicles. We have the cat one. This, cra this crazy white thing. No one could even drive this thing. No, no guys. So you can see there's the hood scoop right there for the engine. I mean, where would you possibly sit? I guess you could sit up here in the tail, but you wouldn't be able to see anything. So you'd probably crash if you could even drive it. But I don't know where the steering would be. I mean, that, that, so that's guys one of the ways you can always tell, and, and these are really like super inventive type things, guys. And we've got, there's a lot more crazy things also, guys. So we'll show you some of the crazier stuff as this video goes on for sure. Okay. But uh, what else okay. we got, buddy? So this is a gray gator one. I think you might, you could probably sit in the mouth. <laughs> that sounds really enjoyable. Here it is. So guys, this is not our complete collection of all this stuff. 
there's a lot of these that are themed for different properties like Marvel and Star Wars and stuff that we pulled out of this just because this is, as you guys can see, a really crazy collection even without all that stuff. So there is some other stuff as well, guys. This is not the full collection. This is just kind of, this is a curated selection, guys, of, of the entire collection. But I don't think it'd be a lot more than that. Even if we include the other stuff, it'd probably, probably be right around 300 or so, I would say. You got the scorpion. Oh, yeah, I think it's crazy. Where do you even sit? That, that is such a nutty vehicle. Sit in here. <laughs> no thanks. Oh, it has a hatch right there. I'd be, I'd be scared. Oh, wait, no. You sit right there. Really? Is there a seat there? Yeah. It's blue, so you sort of hit it. Where, where's, where'd you stare at? Hey, this is Close your eyes and hope for the best, I guess. Now we have these two. I'm going to do this one first. Is this the T-Rex or something? The T-Rex! That one's called uh, Tyrant. So Tyrant is the name of this vehicle. Uh, does it have anywhere to... I don't think this one has anywhere to sit either. I mean, you can see it's really... Sometimes monster trucks, guys, you, you can see that they're really heavily modified and it's really difficult for somebody to sit in it and drive it. Parent. And this Red vehicle one. is a lot like that also. Wolf car. That one you could. It looks like there's just enough. It's like a nice chop, but there's just enough. Guys, if you look here, there's just enough of... Uh, oh, no, actually, sorry, this is sealed off. So you can see from the front there, that's sealed off, that's metal. Uh, but you can see if you made this made this part right here, guys, into... Um, this is really hard to show you here, guys. But if you made this part plastic rather than metal, you could theoretically drive this car. That's a good track car. That particular one. Most of the ones we've shown you so far have not been great track cars. That one definitely Hold is. Hold this thing. Yeah. You don't even know which one is the front. Yeah, so this one's the same front and back, which would... I don't even know what you'd do with that. The no, one's jaws closed, one jaws open. Yeah, this one's called Double Dragon, guys. Now, there is some creepy crawlers out there. Yeah, I got some insect cars here. This one has a spider actually built into the top of it. But it looks like there might be a little cockpit back here. In the plastic, no? Yeah. You can see it better here. We, yeah, we got the Halloween themed ones. Yeah, guys, so if you look right right here, you could have sort of a sort of a cockpit. That, that concludes the animals. Okay, guys, so there's the uh, animals. And... Next theme. Next ones. Bone Shaker. So Bone Shaker, guys has been ported over to, let's take all these, has been ported over to um, the Monster Truck Arena guys when they were doing that. And of course we have this as well. So this is another, I guess this is sort of a spider vehicle also guys. I'm not quite sure what this is, but you can see this has sort of a spider idea to it. Bone shaker, blue. See, the thing with, there's a cockpit. Oh yeah, this is, this is just a chopped rod. This is very, very drivable. It also says, um, it says Bone 68 2018 Shaker. There you go, right there. Bone 68 2018 Shaker. Ooh! Selected. Awesome. Check this thing out. Says, um, yeah, this is getting a little bit closer to the says original red team. Shaker. Says red team Hot Wheels. Yeah. Oh, guys, so that was when we first started getting into this, guys, they had actual teams on the Hot Wheels website and they would do these different stunts with vehicles and stuff like that. There's a red team, there was this team which was the yellow team guys and just different vehicles were on 
See, this was red teams. team. Yeah. This was red team. Yeah, so they were a green team, and there's a blue team. It was just a really cool promotional thing that they were doing, guys. Uh, but I don't know if they still do that. Now I got the original now, Flame Skull one. That's black. So this is the original Trop Rod. I'll keep you get yeah, that grab. This is classic coloring, classic skull and everything on it. That's the this is the one I think pretty much that they use for the the um, monster trucks. And then of course when they went to giant wheels. Check this thing out. That's cool. This is Hot Wheels on there. Now this big boy. I don't know if you can see it right there or not. You can see the classic grill with this too. You get the skull in the front and all the normal. Check stuff. out this. Check out this door graph right here. Yeah, that's pretty cool. This bolt. Top. Sort of like a Jeep thing. Mm -hmm. What's going on with that? It's pretty cool. Now we have the red rod. This thing. There's some flame, flames. I'll zoom that in for you guys. There's some flames right there. It's pretty cool. I love it. I like that school too. We've had this thing for a while. It's red. No other bomb shaker is red. Yeah. And this one's gray. No one, no other one is gray. Yeah, this one's the bone racer, I think is what they call that, right? Bone speeder. They call this bone speeder guy. This thing? See, yeah. This gray. Brutal. Yeah. And you can see bone the, shaker. It's bone speeder though. With, with when you don't have the roof on it, they changed it. So this is bone speeder guys. Is what they call this version of it. Let's see, there's a little. There's a little. That looks really cool. Some of these we need to take on the track. A lot of these we have oh, taken yes. on the tracks before, guys. When we get into the track stars, we're totally going to show you those. None of the bone shakers have done particularly well on the tracks. They're just cool looking vehicles. This is the old sort of rat rods, sort of chopped rods, guys, that was super, super cool. Crossbones, pirate. Yep. Yep, they're awesome. Now we got these two, the original things with smokestacks on them. This thing. Don't know what you should call this vehicle. Uh, the, uh that, that all was, maybe this is the bone speeder. Oh yeah, no, I think you were right. I think the other one was a bone shaker. This is the bone speeder because you can see it's got the spoiler on it and everything. This one's built for racing, same as this one. Wait, no, it doesn't have the spoiler. Yeah, so that one's a bone shaker. So I guess that's the big difference here. The bone speeders, guys, you can see, see this one's, look up what numbers this, they're both eights. So we have the same thing here. We have a, a, a an eight car in blue and we have an eight car in the sort of um, Next really wicked looking, guys, can you see that color? This, Next so, this sort of maroon. Next it's gorgeous. Next category, yellow team. Oh, okay, yellow team. All right. So we got these. The yellow team we got to be super speeders, guys, because we got these basically just because they were supposed to be super fast on the track. Only one of them actually was, and I'll tell you which one it is when Leo gets to it. So, we first have this thing. Yeah, this is their Baja racer. Check it. It says Hot Wheels on there. Yep. Got that little school. And you know what the rims remind me of? They remind me of nuclear symbols. Oh yeah, kind of, huh? Check out this check out this front hood graph right here. This is really awesome. Yeah. That looks like the, some of the Firestorm graphics. And this is the jet racer. Yeah, this is the jet racer they have. Yeah, that one, that one um, didn't turn out to be a great racer at all. One of the problems with having exposed wheels like that, guys, is you can really super easily bend the bend the axles. And this was the best one on the racetrack, I guess. By a lot, yeah. It looks like it has this green colored sort of jet cockpit. Mm -hmm. A little bubble canopy there. Yeah, yeah the this thing was a dynamo. It's not the fastest one that we had. But it definitely was always in, in the running for the fastest one we had. Mm, 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 mm. The bus team. I'm just calling it the bus team because it's... We yeah, have a whole bunch of... We have like four buses right now. Yeah, there's actually more buses. We, we only brought these four up. 
But we, we have a few other buses as well, guys. We just... Leo was really, really into super large vehicles, guys, at one time. And that's kind of why we got these. Uh, but they're not... It, look at this front. It sort of reminds me of a Cadillac, sort of. I think the fronts are all the same, aren't they? Let's take a look. So this is the... So you can see, you know, you can see at the blue, it's, it's the same front for all of these. And then what about the uh, this super... This race one here with the rockets is a little bit different, but... That reminds me of a Cadillac front, sort of, or maybe it's, a face. It's kind of like what, you know, guys, we've said it before, kind of like what you're doing with, um, with Hot Wheels a lot of times buying paint jobs, and... Now what is this? It's just a, it's side. Just a like a graffiti-style art paint job on it. It's cool, you just, uh, look at this, of the bus. Looks like that, that sort of reminds me of a DJ set in the back. Yeah. Are they all like that in the back? Yeah. Okay. Then this, I think, is like a race school bus. Let's see here. What does it say? School, school bus. bus. No, the, the race school bus is this one. Hot Wheels High, guys. So this is like the higher education. I guess this is just sort of a Cadillac or front, back. Yeah, that's it's cool. And this is just the red version of this one. So are the paint jobs the same? Pretty close, huh? Actually, are they the same? Holy moly, guys. They are! <gasps> look at that! Guys, look at that! They have different wheel designs, too. No, they don't. Just different paint. Look at this, so the graphic is exactly the same. Oh, what a cheat! <laughs> oh, man. You know what? It's cool. It's cool to have Next different category. stylers. The toe. I can't tell you the last time we bought a bus. I don't even know when that would have been. The next category is tow trucks. Tow trucks, okay. Now, so let me explain. We get a wolf car right here. Look, so just a regular wolf car. The fe there's a feature with this. I'll show you. Let me get that down there. Okay, so look. There's these two ridges right there. And there's these two front wheels. You can connect, you could, well, you could sort of connect the wheels on there. So the thing with this, let me show you. Let me show you with a better one. Okay. Like, let's say him. So look, so look. See, they attach onto there. The actual feature with this tow truck is it can actually tow. That's the actual feature with these ones. I think it's pretty cool to have something that actually tows. It says, um... It just says towing anything on the side? Towing it, no, it says something on the top. Oh, yeah. I can't read what that says, guys. Let's see if we can bring that in. Man, that's going to be tough. Campbell's. Campbell's towing, guys. Campbell's though. Towing. Okay, and then we have this thing. Now let me show you the feature with this guy. This guy right here. This one's called the Hollinator, guys. So you could open up like this, take a hot rod, say, and you put it on the back. You can attach this so it can um, stay in place and then haul. See, there's also Hot Wheels that have like special features to them. That no other Hot Wheel has. This one. Yeah, that's a cool truck, the Allinator. And then we just have. This is not a cheat. It's not the same. It does have the same towing features. The same truck, but just has something else on it. Hot Wheels are Repo, so. Sort of rip off, sort of a knock. Yeah, I mean, a lot of these are the same vehicles, just different paints. Do, 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 do. Kind of the way they roll, guys. Race cars. Next category. And no, these vehicles. Well, race cars make up most of this, this I think. Thing. Oh, this, you, so the strange ones? Okay, guys, yeah, let's look at the strange, goofy ones. So we have everything, guys, from this, which is this is a go kart. A go -kart. And we've got weird paint jobs and stuff, so soccer balls show up on fenders a lot. We've also got this. Which is a saw, saw car. You can see there's nowhere to even sit. 
Here's the handle of the saw right here. And you can spin the saw if you want to. These actually race pretty well on the track. We've got two of those, so here's another one. Here's a weird little paint job. Like weird and goofies. Oh, oh you got more goofy stuff. Holy moly, yeah, let's find, okay, let's just find all the crazy stuff for you. Uh, this thing. This thing is kind of, I would say, kind of qualifies. What else we got here? Uh, oh, of course, gotta have that. The weird, strange, and goofy. <laughs> yeah, just there. There's there's just nutty, nutty, nutty stuff here, guys. And uh, oh, forgot this. The nuttiest one of them all. And um, oh, okay, have that too. Oh, all right, guys. Leah's gonna jump into the nutty ones here, and I'm gonna just kind of keep looking to see if there's any other ones while he does this. Fish shit. This thing. This is. This, um, Hot Wheels also does advertisements of. Chess. This is a bishop car. Yeah, they. Do, you recognize this? Just do different themes. You could um take take the lid off, and it's sort of like a snarl thing here. I like it. Put this back on. Bishop car. And then we got um. We got guys. This is an actual stroller. So <laughs> they they made a stroller into a drag car, guys. Pretty, bear. pretty crazy. Guys, we all go shopping, and that's how we sort of got all of these cars. We went shopping. We got all these cars. So this sort of go. So this fast foodie Hot Wheels. It's a stunt thing. It's a stunt. What do you call these? It's a shopping car, basically, guys. And this came with a little guy. That went on here, and um, I don't know where the little guy went. Do you know? Yeah, he's still in the basement. He's in the basement somewhere. Yeah, he's down at Spider Central, guys, somewhere. Oh, you forgot this other tow truck. Part. Wait, hold on. Just quick thing. Part yeah. of the tow truck line. <laughs> okay, there you go, guys. That one has six wheels, which is a little unusual, guys, for um, for for a lot of this stuff. Okay, now we have the bubble matic. Okay. Now this thing is actually a bubble blower. Yep, it is, guys. <laughs> That's the goofiest thing. Then we have this weird whatever it's called. There's nowhere to sit. Oh, wait. There's two places to sit, right here and right here. Yeah, so this is another one like the Bishop, where the uh, canopy actually comes off. Check this thing out. So weird. So you, you showed the bishop car? Yeah. The bishop car opens up as well, guys, so you can... Th those are kind of okay, but they're also kind of a nuisance because it just makes it really easy to lose things. This, it looks like a ship, a tank, and a car mixed in together. Yeah, we have this steampunk sort of looking thing, guys, and... I think they call it this uh, oil oil rig or something. I don't know why. Now we have the salt very, shaker. Very, uh, very interesting design. Why do they call this the salt shaker? Yeah, because it looks like there's basically salt and pepper shakers here, guys. You can see on this part. Like a salt and pepper shaker that you would see on the table, like at home or a restaurant maybe. Although I think, you know, but when I was a kid, you'd see this a lot. Like, you'd be able to instantly recognize it, and you you wouldn't have the question that Leah just asked. But guys, I think that has changed a lot. And guys, you see a lot of things like um, grinders, pepper grinders, and salt grinders, guys. And I think that's part of why um, that can be a, a little something that you might not recognize. Check it out. The wrench car. Okay, guys. And then guess what you can do? Okay, guys, it sort of fits around a tire. This, uh, guys, actually, though, I want to say this is like a 3 8 inch, maybe, guys, something like that. You can actually put this on bolts. Now, you'll break it because it's just plastic, and you'll snap it off. But this is, um, the weighting distribution of this car is kind of interesting also. This is a, just an interesting idea, I think, for them to try to do. Now, 
They made a Hot Wheel. They made this. So guys, this is actually a bobsled car. This is not the bobsled car. What is it? This is the bobsled car. Oh, yeah. Or is this the luge car? Oh, I think Leo might be right, guys. This is a roller coaster vehicle. You can do all the close-ups like I'm not feeling too well. So yeah, Leo's right guys, this is the roller coaster car. And of course here we have the, the bobsled, he's right. Okay guys, and Leo has gone through a lot of what he wanted to tell you guys about this guys. So I'm gonna just wrap it on up from here. And so we have skateboard. Now, this is a pretty cool looking skateboard. Zombie skateboard, I guess, guys. There is a guy that comes with this. Don't know where he went. We have this sort of mummy. Sort of vehicle here, guys. And these are really, really cool. I think this one actually glows a little bit. These are neat, guys. Obviously, no way to drive something like this. So guys, you can see there's a lot of, a lot of times what you'll wind up with is things like, like this, for instance, that is a poor mano of just a whole bunch of different vehicles. You can see elements of just all sorts of muscle cars in this. Same with this. Same with this. Same with this. Bully Goat. And we've got some twin turbo ones. Twin engines. We've got this, which is sort of an, a takeoff on an old, old style car. I like I like stuff like this. These are cool. Uh, we've got these, which are, you know, more exotic stuff. And then this one, which again is kind of a takeoff of cars you've seen. We've got this. Look at the body lines on here. You can see a lot of different things. You can see Mustangs. You can see uh, some Camaro type stuff. You can see some Challenger stuff here, guys. Um, a lot of a lot of different formula racers, guys. Sort of generic formula racers, like this one, for instance. A lot of what a lot of what Hot Wheels does is things like that. Now over here, guys, is one of the more popular mm -hmm. ones. That, yeah, nerve hammer guys. And okay guys, it looks like Leo is coming back. <laughs> and so uh he's got some more categories he wants to do guys, so I wanna jump out and let him jump I, back I, in. Okay guys, so there we have here which is the Z Racer guys. And I'm pretty sure you can figure out why they call it that. Okay, buddy, on to you. Pretty sure this is like one of the first cars. Yeah, we this got. is another one, guys, that we got about the same time as the Orange Rocket Fire, the original nerve hammer for us. And it was this cool sort of spy car. So a lot of these cars had different properties. This was one of them that had these is cool properties. A, is this a hammer or a bird? Uh, I, it nerve nerve hammer guys was supposed to be a spy car actually, so it had different properties. I don't think it was supposed to actually be like a literal hammer. That'd be funny. That's the first nerve hammer. Second nerve hammer. Check out this cool spy car. Yeah. Translucent blue. Same with this one. Yeah, this is blue and clear. The other one was blue and green. Uh, I like blue and clear myself quite a bit. These look more like spy cars than what I'm going to show you. This is like the end one. This doesn't even look like a spy car anymore. No, it's all chromed out and flashy and stuff. Looks more like... A racer or something maybe. Yeah. I do like these rims though, guys. These are dope. 
This looks like a spy this car. One, this one seems to not have its canopy on it. It looks like a spy car. It looks like James Bond would have it. Like if James Bond was in the Hot Wheels world, <laughs> this would be his car. Well, there are Aston Martins. I think we actually have one of the James Bond Aston Martins somewhere. This might also be James Bond. James Bond. James Bond. The magenta, magenta and gold chrome. All right, guys, leave us a comment. And let us know what you think about that. Next category: duplicates. Guys, I want to show you this. So here's another duplicates thing with sick wheels. Look where the steering wheel is. If you actually sat in that, this would be your view. You'd be looking at the back of this gigantic tower on the engine. I don't know how you would ever drive this. Oh, Hot Wheels, you guys crack me up. Now there's duplicates, repaints is our next category. Duplicates and repaints. There is quite a lot of these duplicates, repaints. They got one like from every category for duplicates, repaints. Yeah, that this is this might take you a while to assemble this, buddy. But the mini doom. It looks like a spy car too. This one, guys, I don't know where you would ever sit on this. So, this is the original flower. This big thing. Well, I guess you, you could sort of see where you're going since this is the cockpit. Oh, yeah, yeah, you have no problem with this one, punch, right? And it's got the auger, guys. So, this thing you can see it better on this one. This one, you can see it's got the auger in the back to kick out the, the salt for the roads. Next. Joy of the Machine. And these tires look really cool and light too, by the way. Joy of the Machine. You got two of these things. Yeah, and we didn't... Sometimes, guys, we forget that we have stuff. And I see it in the store and I'm like, that is really cool. I better get one. And then... Leo will be unboxing it and he'll go, why'd you get this again? We already have this. And that's just because, guys, <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> Like, this is actually, this will show you an example. Yeah, you can see, Like, guys. we bought, what, wait, let's say we bought this one first. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, wow. This is actually pretty cool. Yeah, right? that's a really cool car, yeah. And then we go to the store again. Yeah, we go to the store. Ooh, this one looks cool. <laughs> oh, that's a really cool car. Let's get it. And then we go, oh, it's the same car. But we go to the store and we find... But then we have another paint job. And we're like, oh, cool, let's get that too. And that's how we come to have those. The car Leo just showed you, by the way, is an outstanding racer, guys. Those are really good racing cars. <laughs> this one, I think, probably will be also, guys. It's a chromed out jobby. But we haven't had a chance to test on the track just quite yet. So, let's say we bought this dune buggy. This is the repaint version. Bought this dune buggy. Ding, ding. Let's see the go. Let's see it. Wow, this is a cool dune buggy. Yeah, that's you go to the cool. store. Ooh, look at this repaint. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, we got it. So you probably picked those out because I, I wouldn't buy dune buggies personally, but. Okay, so let's. It's also with these speed trucks. Wow. I like I like what we got here. Yeah, that's really slick. That that by the way, this is one of our better racers that Leo's showing you. Five days later. Five days later. Whoa, we see this thing. You know what? I don't mind getting duplicates and stuff like that though, because those cars are wicked. I, I, I would take I would take different paint jobs of all our best racers guys over and over again with no problem at all. Ooh, uh-oh, that is going to be sick. Let's see, uh-oh. There it is, guys. See, the example, there we got like more examples. Say, we buy this, buy this one. Yeah, this is one of our one of our better racers. And I think, mm. you know, sometimes we just buy, we, we need Bands. to get, we need to get doubles because we either get a bent axle or something like that, guys. Or we can't find the car and then we see it in the store and we're like, I want I want to have one of those on hand because I love those cars, uh, and that's sometimes how we'll acquire more than one of those. Ooh, I like what we got here. And sometimes we just like the different stylings of paint jobs. Mm, this is a pretty good car. I'm glad we got this yeah. out of the box. Yeah. 
For sure. We go to the store. Go to the store. La 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 la. Hey, we're at the store. Found this. What? A new. What? what? Check on the back. It says it was a new car. What? Buy it. Okay, let's get it. You come back. Oh, there's duplicates of the same two good racer. Like, there's a lot of good racers we have here. Repaints, I mean, are the most common mistakes you could ever make with the cars. Well, I mean, are, are they mistakes, though? Because sometimes it's just cool to have multiple multiple cars of the same thing. You buy this thing. You go back home. La, 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 la. Wow, check the, this thing out. Yeah. But, five days later. Five, why is it always five days? <laughs> five days in a week. What's going on out there five days, guys? Lou's kind of less now. Ooh, it says it's a new car, but they're lying to us. <laughs> you have the same, you have different paint jobs on different cars. I'm not right. too sure if these are like two really good ones or if they're two really bad ones. But honestly, I don't know. Right, right. So guys, we also have something like this. These both came, we didn't buy these cars. These came in five packs, so two different five packs. When you're buying five packs, or sometimes even the 10 packs, a lot of times you're buying them for one or two cars, and then everything else that comes with just comes with. And that's how a lot of this happened. Now in the case of, let's see, these I remember here. So guys, we have two of the Drift Kings, right? The Drift King I thought was pretty cool this white one, except for the wheels got bent. So we needed a second one, and voila, there it is, this sort of orange girl, gold thing. These two guys, this red one, Trackstar. I love that car. The blue one we got, just because sometimes um, it's better to have duplicates of these, and I think I couldn't find this red one. So I happened to see a blue one, and I'm like, we need a backup for it. And that's how we got that one, guys. So. It, it, it's no big deal. I don't mind having stuff like that. Those those racers over there. This looks like the two, this looks like the same car, but it's not. This is a high tech missile, guys. I don't mind having a whole bunch of those because those things are dynamite. Anyway, you get a red paint job and you get a blue paint job. Like we need to have backups for these. I don't yeah. remember the name. So of this, those are those are those came from multiple packs also. We didn't buy those individually. This one we did. You know, because a lot of times, well, you know, we'll just see like cool stuff. And then I'll say, oh, I wonder how it'll run on the track. And then we'll get it just to find out. So that that, that happens fairly often. Sometimes we have these cool things like this, right? This sort of crate thing where the motor actually moves. We have this, which is a, a tank that the turret is apparently fixed on. This is just a weird thing to have, guys. So we see this and we're like, we better get that. Because it's just, it's just kind of oddball stuff that we, you know, or, or this, like these bubble two, car. Like these two wow. saw cars. Yeah, the saw cars, exactly. Those were good track cars. We needed to have two of those. I think, so the one we got first was this one. And this one was okay. But when I saw the paint job on this one, I was like, yep. Sign me up. Same with this one. This paint job got used on a lot of different cars, guys. We have quite a number of these. Camaros and stuff like that, so... Sometimes you get these. This car is too wide to go on the tracks and through the turbos, but it's just really a unique and interesting car. So we display these guys. A lot of these would make a lot more sense. There's a couple of rally cats that Leo has, but we don't actually display any of these. Uh, we just we just like to have them because like we'll you know we'll just be pawing through stuff and we're like oh hey that's cool or stuff like this the sort of alligator paint job. We never use this car. But, but there you go. This is another one. So these came out of packs. Both of those two came out of packs. So a lot of times you just get packs of cars because you, you're not really looking for some of the other stuff and, and you just wind up with, with them. This, that's where this car came from. That's where this car came from. That's where these cars came from. Yeah. I mean, they, they just they, they throw stuff in there and, and you just kind of, you know, you kind of pick it up. Would I ever intentionally buy this car? I mean, honestly, probably not. But, I mean, these are cool things to have. So. The collection is great to have. Like, honestly, you could have like that, 
or this Halloween. The Halloween specials are cool, really cool, like this thing. Yeah, the Evil Twin. Evil Twin is a really cool one. That's, I mean, a lot of what Hot Wheels does is riffs. Both of these two, in fact, here, let's check these out. Both of these two are riffs, guys, on existing cars, but they're just kind of stamped with, with Hot Wheels. This one in particular I love. This one's got so much cool detail on it. But they just kind of put their own personal stamp on it, guys, and it's 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 their vehicle at that point. You know, it's not, it's they don't need a Dodge license or a Chevy license because it's not, it's not a Dodge or a Chevy or Ford or anything. Or like a Lamborghini. It's sort of like a Lamborghini. Yeah, I mean, so they have a lot of these generic racers as well, guys, and you know these things are. This one's called Mock Speeder, and it's just stuff like this. They can have a bazillion of those. Like this one, just something random, and you slap a spoiler on it, and you do it in this clear, transparent plastic, and booyah, there's another car, you know? And this is the blue paint job of the soccer one. Yep. So so there, I mean, that's kind of some of the cool stuff, guys, but there are some of these that are really unique, some of these that are just goofy, guys, and I mean, you can see, here's the flavor, guys, and if you've been waiting this long in the video, guys, here it is. Leo, give me a drum roll. Okay, guys. Whoever guessed in the comments, 228. Guys, give yourself a no prize. <laughs> you have successfully guessed how many there are. 228, guys. And hopefully you've enjoyed our look at some of these. This is the biggest collection that we've, uh, we've done. We haven't done the whole thing. This is about a third of our whole collection, guys. Just because it's, you can see this is a very long video, it's hard to digest this all at once. But hopefully guys, you have liked to look at some of our favorites, some of the fast cars, some of the unique cars guys, from that, that are just the Team Hot Wheels design. Uh, guys, if you did, please give us the old thumbs up guys. Hit the red subscribe button guys, if you're not done so already guys, hit the blue bell. Next to the red subscribe button guys. If you'd like to be notified of the latest greatest content that's available, guys, we do a lot of Hot Wheels stuff. We have a Hot Wheels Monster Truck playlist. We have a Hot Wheels playlist, guys. So feel free, guys, to check any of those out if you like this kind of content, guys. You can also follow us on our Twitter feed. Our updates to the channel, guys, that make pretty much as soon as they happen, guys. Oh, we got, yeah, we got this. This is a ref. Um, it exists on a power wagon, basically. Power panel. Yeah, so this, guys, is basically a riff on a Dodge power wagon. They call it a power paneler, but so I mean, there's no emblems or anything like that. But you can clearly tell what they're aiming for, guys. You see a lot of stuff like that as well, uh, guys. But if you do follow us on our Twitter feed, you can see Twitter-specific content, guys. Like so, displays. We'll do a lot of displays. Um, a lot of them from my office. A lot of them from Leo. We'll just we'll, we'll do a lot of that stuff. So Twitter-specific content, guys. You want to follow us there, guys? Let's come. Let us know. If you guys like Hot Wheels, how many Hot Wheels you have. If you like to race them, if you like to display them, guys. What you like to do, guys. Do you collect them? We'd be interested in knowing, guys. But anyway, that's going to do it for this time, guys. Really appreciate you guys hanging in there this long with us, guys. As always. And we'll see you all next time. Adios. Adios.